Hello and welcome to day 118 of our daily dose. I brought you outside, so I'm going to compete with the seagulls. I'm going to continue with uh, a reading from Emily Wilson's translation of the Odyssey, and this is from line 25. There sat the god, delighting in his banquet. The other gods were gathered on Olympus in Father Zeus's palace. He was thinking of fine, well-born Aegisthus, who was killed by Agamemnon's famous son, Orestes. He told the deathless gods, This is absurd, but mortals blame the gods. They say we cause their suffering, but they themselves increase it by folly. So Aegisthus overstepped. He took the legal wife of Agamemnon, then killed the husband when he came back home although he knew that it would doom them all. We gods had warned Aegisthus. We sent down perceptive Hermes, who flashed into sight and told him not to murder Agamemnon or court his wife. Orestes would grow up and come back to his home to take revenge. Aegisthus would not hear that good advice, but now his death has paid all debts. Athena looked at him steadily and answered, Father, he did deserve to die. Bring death to all who act like him. But I am agonizing about Odysseus and his bad luck. For too long he has suffered with no friends, sea all around him, sea on every side. Out on an island where a goddess lives, daughter of fearful Atlas who holds up the pillars of the sea and knows its depths. Those pillars keep the heaven and earth apart. Going to leave it there because I'm running out of time. I hope you enjoyed that. There'll be more tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.